Hello everyone, Matt Lake here, back with another Unreal 5 Python tutorial. Uh, so this one's a bit of a request. I've had a Michael Denisov uh, request how can you install Python plugins via pip. Uh, so today's video is going to cover how to do exactly that. So inside of Unreal 5, um, right down the bottom, let's open up our output log. And we're already on Python, uh, just down here. And we're going to try import a, a library that's not um, standard to Unreal. So for example, let's try import numpy. Um, we're going to get an error. Okay, so there you go, module not found. Uh, so I'm going to quickly show you how to set up. Uh, there's a few ways to use pip to download external modules, uh, but I find this is the easiest. So the first step is to actually navigate to your Python install for Unreal. So what you're going to need to do is navigate to your Unreal 5 install folder, head to engine, binaries, third party, Python 3, Win64. So inside of here, we have our python.exe file. If we shift click on python.exe, um, we'll now get an option called copy as path. Okay, so now what we need to do is actually open up command prompt. Uh, so you can either do this from a PowerShell window by shift clicking in the background and click open PowerShell window. Um, alternatively, you can just press start and type CMD and you can, uh, you can bring this up here. So we're going to do a control and V to paste our path. And there we go. We've got the path to the python.exe file. We're going to do a space dash m, m for Matthew, uh, space again, pip for pip, install, and then we're going to pick the module name. So this is any module one. So in this case, we want to install numpy. So let's do numpy and then hit enter. And it will download numpy. And it's installed. Cool. Now, if we head back over into Unreal 5, and let's try that some line again. So let's do uh, import numpy. And voila. There we go. So that's how you import uh, external libraries. There is other ways to do it, but this is the quickest way I found, especially if you have your own Python install on, on your machine. Um, so it's basically just to not interfere with any environment settings or anything. You can just uh, directly call it that way. But yeah, that's how you do it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got any comments, drop them below. I'm more than happy to, to answer, answer all questions. And feel free to reach out with me on Twitter, at MattLakeTA. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.